How important was this coming off with you guys? You know, a couple of tough losses. Uh, it's a really important game for us. I mean, uh, we learned a lot from last week. Uh, we grew a lot from last week. It was hard being able, we didn't really get much to show from it, but we needed this one. Uh, we needed to propel us going into break and uh, starting the ACCs. When you got a program that went through some of the stuff you had last year and then this year, and then you see another guy on the floor, what um, I mean, well, there's one thing that last year taught us is that we have to be resilient. Um, Rex is a, a great example of that. This entire game, he's been our steady guard, uh, he's been our leader, and to watch him go down, it was tough for us, but uh, the way we finished the game and showed that we can still keep going, and um, we're, we're praying for him, we're wishing him the best, and uh, we know he's going to be back and still going to lead us. What are the emotions like? I mean, it's a, it's a great win for you. You guys did a lot of good stuff, but you may lose Rex. Um, I mean, it, it's a bittersweet moment, you know, that we got to keep growing as a team. It's tough to grow without your leader, um, but we just got to keep pushing. It's up to me and John to really show these guys the ropes. And we know Rex is going to be good. He's going to be back. Uh, we're not worried about it. Uh, we know he's going to come back next game. He's going to be playing strong, just like he always does. You guys had one of the more frustrating selection Sundays that any team could possibly have. The frustration from that, is that a set of fire, a little fire that still today drives this team? Is there anything left over from that that kind of drives you guys forward enough to that? I mean, uh, the guys last year um, that came back, the new guys, they know how it felt to, to not be a part of that um, the tournament. And we know that we, we, we're pushing towards it. we got to take it one game at a time. Uh, we're a young team. Uh, we're learning a lot about each other, about ourselves, uh, about what the team can be. I mean, we know if we want to get to that point, we just got to keep learning, keep doing it, keep taking it one game at a time. And uh, this was a great stepping stone for us, just like last week was, and we just got to keep building from it. What do you know about this team now that you did in two hours ago, two, three hours ago? Um, resiliency. I mean, we have a lot of great pieces. Dane played amazing today. DJ's gets in his stride, and Mooney's grown into uh, what he can be, and just watching these guys grow and, and continue to be how they are. And uh, we know we have a lot to, to work with, a lot to, to keep going with, and it's, it's like I said, a stepping stone. TJ, Mike just talked about this. He's never been in waters like this being a young team, but what have you learned about Mike, his coach, and taking on this challenge this year? I mean, he's always been the steady guy that uh, I've known since my freshman year. We've got older guys, and um, just knowing that he trusts in us and that he's going to let us play and let us rock. And uh, uh, that's our leader, that's our guy. Uh, we know he has our backs, and that's the most important part when we go out there on that court and we know that coach has our backs, and our best interest is there's nothing like it. What does it say about Rex where he's hurt, he doesn't know what the, the future is going to be, but he, he wants to be back on the end of the bench at the end of the game like that, come out and, and be there for you guys? Yeah, no, that just shows the type of leader he is. Uh, we know that he does that every game. He's our leader on and off the court. Uh, we, he leads by example when he leads by what he's saying. Um, and we just know that he's, he's going to be good. I mean, whether he's playing or not, we know that he's going to be good and he's going to lead us. And uh, we trust in him. We have faith in him. And uh, everything he's done is going to just continue to grow. And I, I, I look up to him, and the rest of the team does too. Played a game like that. Like, you guys really needed that. Yeah, no, we, we did, especially after last week and those, those close games that we had. You know, coming back from that, yeah, as, as Coach Bray said, I, we really felt like we got better last week. And coming out today and, and kind of showing that, it, it definitely felt good. But um, we gotta, we got to pick Rex up and pick the rest of the team up. So. How do you deal with the emotions? Like, it's, it's a great win for you, but you may lose a captain. Yeah, it's tough. I mean, with all the stuff we've gone through and now robbing Rex. <laughs> Um, you know, it, it's tough, but you know, it's it's all it's all part of it. And, you know, how how we battle through that and how we learn from is uh, ultimately going to determine our success. Your confidence level in the last ten days, two weeks, how high is it? Going to continue to go? Yeah, um, you know, it, it's got to be high because you know I'm stepping into a new role here, and um, you know I I feel good because I got the guys around me picking me up, um, you know, helping me, putting me in spots, and all those kind of things. So. You know, getting used to it and, and being ready to play is, you know, that's something I have to do. How did your role change without Rex today, and do you see it differently if, if, if he's not able to continue? Yeah, hopefully Rex is, um, but, you know, without Rex, you know, I kind of slide into that, that other spot and and just being ready to play, um, you know, taking open shots, you know, finding people, um, defense, rebounding, all that stuff, you know, it, it's, it, Rex, Rex kind of did all those things for our team, and, and now I kind of got to fill that role a little bit, so you know, we'll see how, see how it works out. Thank you, sir. Yep.